Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing this morning? I'm doing okay. I just got back from the store as usual because the snow shall be here on tomorrow. And on tomorrow and the next day, I don't know how bad it's going to be, but they're talking about it's going to be pretty bad. Like it's going to be maybe seven inches or something. I don't know. They were talking about the wind chill. You know how high uh, the wind gusts, should I say. Let me take these boots off. This one is kind of hurting my foot. And so anyway, I went to the store, got my snacks, got me some more potatoes. I wore my boots. This one right here was hurting my foot a little bit. I don't understand. Oh, and my foot must be growing too. But you know what they say. They say that um, as you get older, your ears continue to grow, your nose grows bigger or wider or whatever, and your feet continue to grow. And some people say, you know, after you go on the greener passage, your hair continues to grow. I don't know, yeah. And then they say that when you get older, older people sometimes grow new teeth. That's like, wow, you know, I could use some of them. But anyway, I'm taking my boots off. And I didn't get too much, just snacks, and I got some more water. Because I don't know how long, you know, if it's going to, if, if I'm going to be snowed in, I got to have what I need. And I've already got plenty of food. I really have plenty of food. But I wanted me some creamer, so I went to the store, got me some creamer, got me some grapes, got cabbage, potato chips. Oh, I got some frozen lima beans. I got to put them bad boys. Wait a minute. I got to put those bad boys in the uh, freezer because they're frozen. You know, the baby limas. <sighs> and I got me a red pepper. Got me another box of Cheerios. I got to keep my extra box of Cheerios at all times. Yeah. And I got me some hazelnut coffee, mate. I got hazelnut coffee, mate, which I already had a cup of coffee. But I didn't have hazelnut. I like the hazelnut pretty much. After I bought it before I started, I used it. And I went right over there and didn't put it in the fridge. So this is what I got the hazelnut coffee mate. And then I got my grapes. And then I got a whole bunch of stuff on the table. I had my fanny pack. This is fanny pack I got from uh, Tamu a while back. And uh, they had a smell to it. But I, sm I sprayed some, uh, let me get this gum out of my mouth. I sprayed some cologne on it to get that smell off it. And let it hang in, you know, hang up overnight in the bathroom. Well, it was hanging in the bathroom overnight. And then I said, mm. I said, the only thing I can smell now is the, um, I mean, the cologne that I sprayed on it. So that's what I'm going to start taking. But I don't usually put it around my waist. I hang it over my um, steering column on my, my uh, scooter. I just hang it over the column. And that's that. And it'll be there, you know, until I get ready to take it off. And what else did I get? I think that's it. I didn't get that much. But believe it or not, what I got came to 40, I think it was $47. And I didn't get much. I didn't get no meat at all. I think the coffee made and the water. You know what? That stuff shouldn't have cost that much. Wait a minute. What else I get? Oh. Got me some more chewing gum. Like they used to say down south. Chewing gum. Well, it's chewing gum, you know. Uh, I think this was $1.49 a pack. Three bucks. Right here, three bucks. I don't know what I did with that receipt. I must have put it in a fanny pack. And the grapes, I think the grapes were like $5.99 or $6.99, something like that. 
Somebody said that, uh, oh, on the internet, on the uh, YouTube, I was looking at something about uh, the kidney, and they said the grapes are good, so I said, I'll make sure you give me some grapes today. And I bought that <laughs> the other day when I went to the store. I bought pomegranate juice, and it should have been cranberry, that 100% cranberry juice. That's supposed to help my kidney. And then I went right to the store. I was going to return it and exchange it. And Dad never, I left it right there on the table. Receipt and all. I had the receipt, you know. See, I got my, I, I finally sending St. Jude some more money. I got to put that out for the mailman when he comes. But they don't come. The mailman don't come until like 2, 2.30, sometimes 3. Sometimes even later than that. Let's see here now. Because they had a, a cashier in there that I had never seen before today. Oh, he, he charged me $2.40 for the bottle deposit? Shouldn't have been but a dollar and 20, right? Yeah, because that's a, that's a 24 pack. Unless they starting to charge ten, what? He charged me double. It's supposed to be like a dollar and twenty, I believe. And then, oh my goodness, those Lay's potato chips was what is this? Six six dollars and ninety nine cents, y'all. Oh my goodness. Now this is this is supposed to be the the family bag. I think this bag used to be like two ninety nine or either three ninety nine, something like that. Well, I mean, it feels like there's a lot of them in there. I switched it up to uh, sour cream and onion today. Gotta yeah, have me some snacks. Whoops. And what else costs so much? Those Cheerios was six dollars and forty nine cents, which I'm not surprised at that though. That's that's a uh, like the big side, the family pack. I'm not surprised at that. Then felt got the nerve to say the savings was five dollars and ninety nine cents. I'm looking up here to try to see what why it costs us so much. I'm saying imported. Pepper a dollar fifty nine, potatoes four seventy nine. I should have waited until they went on sale. Yeah, forty nine dollars and forty seven cents. That's what it was. Uh, but anyway, I went and got my stuff done, and I'm happy I got it done. You know what I you know, just in case I get like I said, just in case I get snowed in. If I get snowed in up in here. And they ain't got no potatoes, which I'm pretty sure I got some potatoes, but they're the ones I think I got them from Walmart last week, a week before last or something like that. You know, some of these little things here, they take a long time to, you know, to charge. Very long time. And I got both of them charging, you know, just in case, this is just in case the lights go out tomorrow when the weather... Because the weatherman, he he did say that uh, he's expecting some outages. Get rid of that gun. And, um, but the um, fixture, I mean, the uh, electrical uh, wires here, they're underground. But we still, they still go out sometimes. But I've never known it to go out during a storm or anything like that. It just went out because of some other issues that, you know, that happened and stuff. But either way, you slice it, I'm ready. She read it, and she even charged her little, her little light. See that? She charged her little ring light, and I keep forgetting to use it. But she's ready. See that? She ready. I don't know why I'm so red looking. I think it's because I'm Indian. I got some Indian in me. Ah! 
Oh yeah. Take that out. Are you ready for the storm? Are you excited like I am? I'm excited. As long as I got what I want. But you know, I feel bad for the person that's got to be out there in it. Cause, but you know, at once upon a time, I used to have to be out there in it as well. And I did not drive. And I don't think I would have dro driven in the snow anyway because I'm too nervous and too scary. As a matter of fact, I had a little uh, incident when I was going to the store. I was on my scooter. And this guy, I'm at the light. Waiting for the, you know, the light to change. But I had my hand on my drive. You know how you uh, have that little lever there that you drive. And and I hear tires screeching and everything in back of me. I got all nervous. And I had my hands on the lever and went boom right over the curb. The first two, you know, the front wheels went over the curb. And so I'm sitting there feeling like a jerk. Because this idiot is driving like a maniac, but he wasn't doing it to me. But I, you know, I didn't know if he wasn't doing it to me or not. It's just a, it was just a reflex, just my reaction in a case, you know, uh, uh, because of I heard that screech and it frightened me, sort of, you know, made me nervous. My heart didn't start pounding nothing like that, y'all, because it was, you know, it was too fast to pound. And, uh, but he didn't hit anything. But it sounded like he might would have. That's how loud that screeching was. Uh, shoot, this light don't want to go up there. That's my little, you know, lights. Let's see how it works, how it looks if I put it up here on top of my... Uh, I hardly ever use it because I keep forgetting about it. Ooh. Wait a minute. I turned it overhead. Look at that. That really makes me look like a mm, tomato. Wow. I wonder if it's my blood pressure. Why am I looking like that? But I think it's the light. Hmm. <laughs> now I can't see nothing. I'm not going to hold y'all too long because I'm sitting up here doing something that I should be doing offline okay and i and i'm constantly going down my i noticed today i'm down to 281 but it's okay you know i get used to I have to get used to it i don't know how to bring the numbers back up so i just have to deal with it the way it is y'all but i guess i'm gonna fill out that i'm gonna see if i can do the membership thing today on the line. I don't know how to do it, really. Got to contact my daughter and see if she knows how to. But she's so busy working. I don't know what she'd be doing over there. She's at home, so she should be able to do just about like they want to. A lot of these people that's working at home today ain't working at home. Okay? I'm going to scream. <laughs> they ain't working at home not like they would if they was in that office. But you know what? I got another little secret to tell you. People in the office ain't doing all the work either because I used to work in the office. <laughs> you got to go visit your neighbor, talk to your neighbor a while, which I wasn't like that, though. I wasn't, uh, uh, you know, visiting my neighbor, but some other people would visit you and try to, you know, talk to you about stuff and everything. Yeah, I didn't want to, but I did because they talked to me and uh, they ain't doing a whole lot of work. I mean, you do some, don't get me wrong. You know, you, you do some. But you're not constantly working. Constantly, you know. But when I, when I, um, well, really, it's not that busy. I mean, it's busy at a certain time. I think I told you this before. At a certain time, you know, when I was a telephone operator, they had the peak hours. And, and you know, and I used to work a split sometime. I'd work a, a couple hours in the morning and then come back that night and work a couple hours after maybe four or six, four to six or six to ten or something. I forgot what it was now. But um, you're not working constantly. You're just there just in case. You know, just like you buy insurance. You buy an insurance just in case something happens. 
And I think it's a darn shame. I had some insurance before and and uh, I outlived it. <laughs> and I said, oh my goodness, I could have saved that money. Yeah, paid into it. And then, uh, matter of fact, my uh, brother, my bro not my brother, but my brother-in-law. So I heard that uh, he had some uh, expired insurance. A lot of people do that. They outlive their insurance. And so then they no longer they no longer have it when the time comes, you know, when they've actually succumbed and left this, you know, earth or whatever. I, I don't know if they left the earth or, you know, when they went to greener pastures, I put it like that. Um, they didn't have enough money to, uh, you know, take care of the services. And so, you know, the family have to scrap up, try to get the money together and stuff like that. I had to do that. We had to do that for my daughter, one of my daughters. And uh, sometimes you just ain't prepared for it. You know, financially, you're not prepared for it. So, y'all get some insurance for your family. You don't, you don't be a burden on your family. But my, you know what my, uh, one of my aunts said before she passed away? She said she ain't worried about it. <laughs> She ain't worried about it. It's no longer a problem. I guess she figured, hey, my kids are supposed to take care of this crap. Ain't much I took care of them. Let them take care of this. But she said she wasn't worried about it. She didn't do that. But she had no issue. Sure didn't. But anyway, I think I'm going to have another cup of coffee, y'all. Should I? Mother may I? I think I should just to get the hazelnut and maybe I could stay up. I got a few clothes I got to wash because the day I got to change, you know, it's a heat changing day for me it is. I, I, if I don't do it Friday or whatever, I do it on Monday. And if I don't do it on a Monday, I do it on Friday. That's just how I roll, y'all. But it's so beautiful outside. I mean, it really is. I had my um, scarf on because I thought it was going to be, you know, be, being at this early, I thought it was going to be uh, really chill, chilly. But to my surprise and amazement, mm -mm, and I got on two hats. Wait a minute. I got on two. I got on one of those. See? Because sometimes my, <laughs> sometimes my head get cold, you know, with just this hat on. You know, because my hair is really, really bald up here. And so, you know, the air, if the wind is blowing, it comes right right through here. You see what I'm saying? Right through there, and it, and it makes my head feel cold. So I had on uh, me two of these. I usually put a, uh, have a, like a scarf or something on under here. But, you know, people can't really tell. Once you put your hat on, that's it. Oh, nobody know me talking about. Take your hat off. Let me see if you got another hat under there. And I'd be like, yes, I do. I'm guilty, Your Honor. I have on two hats. Y'all hear about Joe Earl uh, uh, Osteen having a shooting at his church? I'm in Lakewood. Uh, he was in, te it's in Texas. This is some people, I think a little boy was shot, but I don't know if he died or not. And then they were saying something about they were going to charge a woman for it. I don't know. I, I said, I got to listen to that again. It's on YouTube, too. Happened, I think it happened yesterday. At one of the Spanish services that they had, you know. And I said, wow, what next? What next, y'all? Y'all see that game last night? I hope your team won. I don't have Paramount. I ha well, I had Paramount, but I uh, canceled it. See my gloves? These came from Tamu. I think I showed y'all these before. They came from Tamu. They're just a little bit smaller. I got enough wiggle, you know, because of the flexibility. I have enough room. I mean, uh, enough flex that it don't they don't feel tight i think i could have used just a little bit i guess they are right 
it's got fur all the way inside. They're nice and warm and everything. Very comfortable otherwise. And I got some cheeses. I don't know how they fell out of the bag. I'm just looking at that now. I have cheeses, you know, cheeses or something like that in that big bag of potato chips. Something like that, I'll take it and put it in a sandwich bag. Just, you know, the part that, uh, just the amount that I think I'll eat. And this bag apparently was open, so I don't see any more down there. Because I am sick of vacuuming. That vacuum cleaner must weigh about 25 pounds. See these, I have, uh, I think crackers were in here. You know, if I open a pack of crackers and I don't eat them all, I'll put them in a bag like this here. As a matter of fact, I may have an extra bag in there that's already open. And on that note, y'all, I'm not going to bore you any longer. And I'll talk to you again soon.